about to do the Bakula's Canyon Overlook. It's about an hour hike and this morning I had a protein shake and just finished off this thing of water. So the protein shake in this for water intake so far. So that's about maybe 25 ounces. And they actually recommend for the park to allocate a gallon of water per person per day because it is in a desert environment so it is quite warm right now but of course when you go and hike in the mountains it can get cooler but back at it with the gallon water challenge first time i kind of failed miserably because the first day i did like decent and then the days after that it just became a challenge because i was like traveling these different places and stuff but here it's like i'm actually here for a couple days so i'm able to consistently drink more water so let's go through and do that i started at just above the 7 a.m line which is a gallon and then I just poured out 22 ounces, well, 20 ounces into here. This nice little day bag. Really like this bag. It does get quite, I've used it so much for my travels and it's held up pretty well for like a mid-range bag. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well for like putting your stuff and having compartments to kind of organize. Here's the US side and over there is Mexico. This is epic, like literally there's like such a nice landscape, the bus is parked running well, I'm about to go to the Rio Grande lookout which overlooks the whole thing. About to go to Mexico. So you're supposed to walk down this trail, then there's a guy that comes with a boat and you pay him five bucks round trip and he'll take you across and back and the place is about half a mile away. It's a town and it's based on US tourism, so everyone's really nice and it's really safe. Yeah, so this seems super simple. Wow, this is actually way closer than what I thought. This is like smaller of a crossing than I thought. It's literally like you hop straight across. I thought it would be a much bigger deal to go to Mexico, but this is like so easy. And with the guy telling me that it's safe too, it makes me so much more like reassured because you hear like bad things about like going across, but I'm pretty excited. I might even get to use some of my Spanish for college. What's really interesting to me is they don't even like stamp your passport or anything. It's like once you go through, you're just like good to go. I think it's like they know that you're already in the national parks. You've already like gotten in somehow. Um, but it's quite interesting. So it's about half a mile walk up this way. So walk up this way. Um, practiced Spanish a little bit, realized how bad I am still at it. So we'll see. It definitely is really pretty though. So there's a village and there's a spring. I'm gonna go straight to the village. If there's enough time, I might go to the spring. I have to be back before five though. Okay, some thoughts on the border crossing that you can do. One, I think it's super convenient. The way they have it set up is like in and out. You can get over and back really simply. Just bring your passport and you'll be fine. They don't even stamp your passport. It's like that simple. It's also a pretty protected town. So you don't really have much to worry about. Like everyone's friendly. They know that they're a tourist town and that's how they make their money. Um, people are surprised if you actually speak Spanish back to them because they're so used to everyone knowing nothing other than hola and como estas. So when I started like actually speaking in conversation, they were kind of taken aback by it, which I thought was kind of cool because then it showed them that I actually care about their culture and like learning their language and whatnot. And I haven't practiced it, so it was cool to like kind of relive my three semesters of Spanish that I took in college. And I thought it was a good experience getting a little taste of Mexico without the full blown experience of actually going there. I think eventually I do want to go there. I'd like to go maybe with a group of friends or something so that way there's more than just me and then we could go explore areas and I think surfing would be really fun down there. So we'll see what happens with that. 